Mahalo, did you think you'd be leaving here before the sun went down? <laughs> mm, not really. I think, you know, when we lost the toss, um, um, I was telling the boys, you know, it might be a good track, you know, try and keep it to a decent score that we could chase down. Um, but I think, you know, when we picked up those early wickets, we realised, you know, we probably can create more pressure. There was probably a bit more sideways movement on the wicket, but Kule bowled some really good areas, swung the ball, um, and Lasit came and, you know, backed him up. So, yeah, pretty pleased with the effort, you know, if before the game started, if they said, you know, you're going to win by four wickets, I would have taken that. Back of my mind, before the when we lost the toss, we were thinking maybe you know 220, 230 might be a pass score on this. Uh, given that you know uh, you know it's pretty decent bounce and pace, and you know under lights, you know you can probably chase something under 250. Uh, that was our target, but you know that's that's a funny game. I mean, when you when you create opportunities, it just you know build pressure, and you know anything could happen. So. A lot of credit to the bowling unit. They bowled really well. Um, and, you know, I know we lost a few wickets, but it's always tough when you're chasing a small target. You're not sure whether to go hard or not. But um, we got there and, you know, 2 1 up in the series, so pretty happy. You won, uh, that was, uh, congratulations. It was really something to watch uh, those in swing as you were bowling. Tell us a little bit about the, you know, that performance today. Like, it was just really out of the order it was. Uh, yeah, it's my natural ability that's uh, swing the ball. You know, in swing, uh, I think uh, I get the swing uh, early, and uh, it's a backspin, a little bit uh, some sort of backspin. Uh, get the in swing. It must be a lovely moment when you're not sort of like Michael Clark's wickets, given how well he's been playing this season. You must know that it's almost perfect ball for you. Isn't it? Yeah, in the early I uh, get a little bit uh, short of a length for the Michael Clark, and uh, I think it's a uh, more swing uh, in that that uh, that time uh, I get I push the ball a little bit uh, fuller, and uh, the ball does. Uh, Everything. Seemed like, particularly that ball, but a few others. Um, some of them you weren't really swinging that much. It was just you looked like you were throwing them up, and they were just cutting off the seam perfectly. Yeah, uh, in the last summer I came here. My stock ball is in swing. I learn uh, how to get the bigger tail for the. I have to learn another thing. I. Uh, I discuss with the coaches uh, and uh, I try to bowl uh, out swinger straight on. I think uh, I did a lot of practice and uh, uh, get the other way. But like, as you just a batsman, you know, um, is it, you know, swing bowling sort of played out of the game a little bit in some respects, hasn't it? Do you think there's a great rewards for people who can master it? Do it well as we saw today. Yeah, I think uh, especially especially with the two new balls now in in one day cricket, you know, the you, you fairly I mean the balls will keep pretty new for about you know good 10, 15 overs on either side. So the guys who can actually you know swing and and maybe get a bit of movement off the wicket afterwards will you know will be a handful. And um, no one no one's been very consistent for us for quite so many years and he's built a nice little partnership with Lasit and um, like he mentioned you know it's not just the in-swingers now he's bowling the out outer one as well which keeps straight and you know a bit of seam as well so if, if you hit those areas I think the difference was today was that you know he bowled some really really awkward areas for the Aussie batsman and, um, and especially on this wicket um, you know created a lot of problems so the Sydney will be something different so we just need to adjust but you know Pretty much the same. Um, ball good areas and you know get the ball to do some work. Have you seen what you've just seen? Uh, do you think Australia, especially, is susceptible to swing bowling? 
Well, um, I mean, the last two games, obviously, our guys managed to, you know, pull some good areas, move the ball a bit, and created more opportunities than we anticipated. So if we can stick to the same game plan and, you know, get the ball to do a little bit up front, obviously, with the two new balls, it will probably do a bit, bit longer. So create those opportunities, you know, we will pick up those, you know, three, four wickets up front and, you know, obviously... Lasit uh, and a few others can, you know, um, create more opportunities in that middle order. So that has been the game plan. So if we can stick to that, you know, be happy. Um, I mean, it's always a, it's tough when you play a team like Australia. They will come hard at us. So after the first game where we were after Melbourne, I think the comeback has been pretty solid from the team. They responded to to the chats we had and you know what we needed to do to t turn things around and um, you know looking forward to Sydney I think you know like I said in the media thing as well we need to start from ball one again start fresh you know whatever happened in the last two games is fantastic but we just need to start all over again again in Sydney have that intensity have that energy you know go out and work for every little thing. So if you can do that, you know, we, we'll, we'll have a good series. Has footwork uh, changed much to swing bowling since you first came into international cricket, given that you know, there's the shorter form of the game now and people seem to be you know, more concerned about really hitting out? Well, it, it depends on the individual players, how they want to gauge and, you know, play swing bowling. Some guys will come down, some guys will stay back and, you know, play closer to their body. So it'll, it'll vary from player to player. So um, I think um, bowlers had to learn something new, had to do something different, obviously, these days, because otherwise they will get penalised because a lot of the rules um, are for them to make sure that they bowl that corridor pretty much. You know, anything down the leg side is a wide, anything outside is a wide. So you pretty much on that zone so if they don't do anything with the ball obviously they will get cleaned up so a lot of the guys that's when the river swing came into play a lot of the variations now with the two bounces they have more options so yeah i mean swing bowling seam bowling you know it's it's a must these days with with the quality of the batting that we have around the world so you know showed today you know what what kind of um, you know, devastation can cause, you know, if a guy bowls some good areas up front. And uh, it was fantastic to see. It was good to watch from slips, to be honest with you, um, because you, you knew that, you know, you were always going to be in business. So, yeah, it was a great game and happy for Nuan. I think his first Pfeiffer in, in one-day cricket. So, yeah, and, and to Lasit and to the entire unit, you know, work really hard.